Hey all you sexy ninjagos and welcome back to another episode ninjagos. Oh god, I just ruined a kid show. Oh my goodness. But in last episode, uh ninjagos. I s I'm I I can't get that off my head. Uh in last episode we made the sword in my bobber. And our father did told us to do something? I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it had to do with going inside the house. So I'll figure it out from there. Or, or I could just look at my quest, but that seems hard. Like, why would you ever want to look at something that could tell you something? Is it here? I don't think it's this way. What's this? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm going to check. <laughs> I'm checking. Quest log. Go to Mother, she'll patch you up. Find something. Kunish's. Go to the and get. Go to the and get nails. Nails for Teresa. Is that that's true? That's how you spell Teresa. Okay. 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 Bring nails to Teresa. Here, here you go. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. Mm. That sword is truly beautiful. Okay. Hen oh God, Henry. What about Bianca? Nah, you don't care about her. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. I can't even walk. Trial by fire. What? Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> pretty good. You did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, he did a smaller piece. Would you piece like to try it? Let's sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future Dude, holds I want to learn how to speak for yourself. I want to learn I how to use I see that sword. you almost have it finished. If it just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Okay. They certainly will. Sure. Dude, I would like to learn how to use a sword, though, if you don't mind. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Van. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Well, thank okay. you for the hospitality. So, uh, 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 why does he want me to do it? A Some long, work. peculiar history. Is there work? That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. 
You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no oh, glory, like but it 40. has its benefits, like keeping your head on your old. shoulders. Oh, well, I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, Near, man. beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. If you have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? <laughs> oh, shock. <gasps> hmm. Maybe just a little bit. Um. I see that. This seems pretty bad. Before, when I thought throwing a uh, uh, shit on this house was pretty bad, yeah, no, this is this listen is to me, bad. Carl. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No, you'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Okay, well, I mean, rather you stay alive, but you know, you can. Did you, didn't you just give me a lecture about swordplay? Anything valuable? What was valuable in the trunk? Okay, yeah, that thing this was pretty cool. Uh -huh. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! We're running come out of time! On. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Keep gates! Running, people! Come on! Mind this for me! Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! Oh my goodness, Henry, what are you doing? You're being a hero. Dude, my father's a badass, so he's gonna, probably gonna die here. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he is a badass. He didn't even need no armor. See it right in front of his face. See, watch this. Oh, I thought his head was gonna come off. That'd be cooler. <laughs> he just got nicked in the back. Uh, he'll survive. Yeah, no, he's dead. Oh God, damn. Okay. You know, you know, that's, you know, that's, uh, I, I think Henry's seen some shit. <laughs> uh, this is more like a movie than a, than a traditional game. Hurry, Henry! There's nothing you can do! Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! City wasn't getting attacked, it was pretty cool, but you know, now we get to adventure. <laughs> hmm. 
He's like, where's my sword, kid? Dude, you were so close to the castle. How could you not get into it? Oh my goodness. Sir Radzik's sword. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, it's no longer Sir Radzik, it's Sir Radzik's, it's mine. Screw Sir Radzik. Get a horse, where am I gonna find a horse? Maybe over this way? Map? Horse? Horse is all the way over there. Oh, ride. Combat area. No clue where a horse is. Is there just gonna be a horse waiting for me? It'd be convenient. Oh, there's a horse over there. Sure, I'll get on a horse. Oh. Can I equip the sword? I want... Can I not use Sir Red Six sword? Yeah, because it's Sir Red... Oh, no, equip. Oh, it was... It was already equipped. I just can't use it, I guess. I just want to pull it out, you know? Horse riding. X, call your horse anytime by whistling and then mount it. I don't have a horse, I don't think. Caps, L... Left caps, walk, gives your horse a chance to recover. W, left shift, yeah, I'll figure it out. Wait, what was it? <laughs> wait, wait. Puppy job, I'm oh, yet. okay, this is where I die. Uh, 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 X. I'm getting on. Okay. Well, it's good that they show me the controls. You know, the, you know, the, you can rape her. I don't care. I'm leaving. <laughs> we saved her, though, from it. Oh, hey, there's another horse. I really don't think, you know, see, this is probably somebody's horse. I don't really think they care. Any, any movies that the main character dies in in the first few minutes? Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I'm bleeding. What are they saying? Oh. Okay, well, I, uh, uh, the horse finally is able to run now. You could. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Ow! You could not, please? Ow! Jerk! Uh, uh, okay. Okay, that was like retarded. My horse was kind of retarded for the first five seconds, so you know it's not my fault. Horse's fault, I swear. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm skipping. Okay, I'm back. Henry's as stupid as ever. But I figured out something now, is that if I looked at the controls hard enough, you can actually double tap shift to, to ride faster. W plus double tap shift, yeah. Yeah, like that. Except for they run out of stamina lock quicker, but I don't think that matters. 
now. Also, I think this way is better, but I have no clue. Uh, uh, uh. Ammo gets to the left along the stream. Yeah, see, I haven't got hit once now. As long as I just paid attention to the controls, then maybe I would have. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, need, I need to keep going. I can still hear them behind me, which kind of freaks me out because I'm going, I'm going super fast. I'm, I'm, I'm super fast. I'm like Sonic. Uh, Sonic the, the yeah, horse. Okay. Well, they haven't hit me once, but I have a feeling soon as I stop, they're gonna hit me, and it's gonna be. Uh, please, don't have aim, please. Oh my. Okay. Okay. I'm galloping. I'm galloping. I'm, galloping. I'm, I'm going. I'm fasty. Uh huh. You know, shoot him. Uh, he's running. I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Wow, why is this place so far? You kidding me? I also don't blame the horse anymore. The horse is like really nice now. He's like not retarded in the head. So, yeah. Also, I, fit, I cured his autism though. It's just a little bit of. Uh, had a little bit of headaches, you know? So he was like, a, that's why I was a little, a little retarded for a second there. Yeah, it makes sense, actually. Sexy Ninjagos. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm Morty. I'm Morty. I'm, I'm still thinking on that. I'm surprised you haven't died from blood loss yet, you know, mate. Quickly, we're closing the gate. Okay, so are they gonna call off their troops now, or are they still gonna invade this place? <clears throat> Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. So, are you gonna spill the secret now, Henry? You know, you just... Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could have, you know, went on the count of three. The, then I, I passed out anyways. Doesn't matter. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? No, not really. There you go. As good as new. Thank you. 
If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Lord Divish, who he? I've learned nothing from history class. Oh, hey, hey, doggy. Attack. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. Like, you know... There were dozens of banners flying beach. on the hill above Scalitz. And the ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. <laughs> Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. I don't know. Why haven't I got to use a sword yet? I'd like to use a sword. What's your name, My boy? Question. I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? Nah, he did. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Okay. This sounds good, you know. Uh, I, I like where this is going. It's going pretty well, I think. Right, Tallenberg. I already did that. Talk to Sir Robard. Did I did, did, can, did I did I talk to Sir Robard? Do I need to talk to Sir Robard? I'm assuming I need to talk to Sir Robard. Who is Sir Robard? You guys, is that guy? Is it, is it the guy with the armor on? Who was in the same room with us? I have no clue. Okay. Hello. Sir Robard? Now I'm walking now? I hey, barely... look oh. out! Okay, I'm sorry. Sir Robard. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Uh, I heard about your father. Okay. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horses. You're that lad from Scalitz. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. A great loss, eh? Sir Divish has suffered his own share of woes, but he's a generous man and someone. a good one. We'll, we'll take care of you until up with blows the hunger. Over. You risked your life to warn us, and we won't forget it. Hey! What? What? Oh, hello. Okay. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? As a bear? How? how Here you how, are. How, then. Oh, bears are pretty hungry. No, Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. 
No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Okay. Young That's Henry here saying, is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. You go, Henry. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Oh, is it made of the finest silks, eh? <laughs> so now I'm gonna steal everything and, you know, leave, take it to the nearest pawn shop. Thinking like a homeless person. Eat, go to the courtyards. Oh, gosh. Uh. Okay, food. What that? I think that is the saving thing. Eat. Just, you know, I might I might take a couple bread rolls while I'm at it, and some some chicken legs. Chicken, chicken. Oh, those are roast du roast duck. Excuse me. Rose duck? I might take a few of those things. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's cheese. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it. So, where is this courtyard thing? This, it's from, I'm assuming it's over here. This way. Oh, my goodness. Where. Is it? Yeah, is it? Sleep. I leave the door open. That's fine. One hour. Two hours. Energy, health, one hundred. Energy, forty-four. Four hours. Four hours is a pretty, you know, decent amount of sleep. Oh, they wake me up. Okay. I thought I was just gonna sleep the entire four hours. They wake they wake up for me. I can only sleep two. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Didn't you say to take those filthy boots off before getting in bed? Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Yeah. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer no, you solace. To let you know you're Just not my alone. Da. My, my pa, you. mama. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. Nah, never been one to believe in God. And it but can you. help sure. to talk about it. If you feel like it. 
Okay. Am I gonna go to Sunday school now? Tell the story but of the raid, sure. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for ale. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Me and my father talked about lives. Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. So smoke on the horizon, huge horde of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied Shoot impatiently. Your they were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How a awful. lot of words. And then death descended on Scalids. Mm. The gate to the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm, and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste, and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then yeah, they scream. almost raped the... The Teresa, girl. Teresa, the mill wench. No worries, I punched the gang. caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Oh, I had ah, Sir exactly sword, was talking about. And even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Okay, I think he's just showing off. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are uh, corrupted uh, okay. by greed envy and pride you must not lose faith whatever life brings fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either although in comparison to the horrors he went through I was young when I married my husband it was my father's wish Divish was a lot older than I but a woman must bear her lot. Hmm. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the yeah, old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. 
I tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Yeah. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. Mm. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. Dang, this is interesting. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Sure. Can I get my two hours of sleep now? Yeah, that's right. It's more like an hour. That's how long it took for that conversation to end. <sighs> there we go. Stop smiling, Henry. Get your head out of good. <laughs> oh my, oh. Okay, they just replayed the entire thing with the red tent. There you go. to his head, you know? Henry, <sighs> wake up. You don't want to miss this. <sighs> what is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. So they're dead, dead? Go to the battlements. Okay. I feel like this is a good place to leave it off. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, to like, dislike, dislike, comment things other than like, a dislike, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.